everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be reacting to the eighth episode of The Last of Us, uh, When We Are In Need. Now, I've said this twice now in the last two videos that I've done. I am very nervous about this episode because I know that it's going to wreck me and... Oh, with the performances we've seen so far, I I have a feeling it's going to be knocked out of the park. But at the same time, I am nervous. And again, not nervous in terms of if the episode will be good, but just the contents of it. It's very heavy and just... I'm, yeah, I'm just not looking forward to it. But I am excited uh, either way. Um, so yeah, we are going to be uh, continuing with the story. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Just don't mind me. I'm just being a panicked mess. <laughs> but please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video. But also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. And I heard a great voice out of heaven say, Tabernacle of God. Jeez. Is with me. Why does he sound like Nolan North? That's crazy. Neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither the man in our pain. Ugh. His voice. Don't. <coughs> Hate it already. <laughs> For those who know. Hate it already. Oh, Troy! Also, just for people's information, Troy is the original Joel Miller, um, and he's amazing. I sense doubt in there. Uh -huh. They haven't lost faith in you, David. You're just scared. Not from them. I still believe. It's been, uh, last six months. Ugh. Yep, that's infected. Oh, Ellie. Oh, the bunny rabbit. Ugh. Oh, Ellie. Oh. <laughs> Is that a click up? Oh, oh yeah. Go, Ellie, go. <laughs> Don't! Drop your rifle! <laughs> now! Gas creep! Keep in your eyes. Get open, buddy boy. <laughs> for charity, we, we can trade you for some of the deer. We have. What do you need? We have. Boots. Medicine? Bless. Like for infections. God, why? Ugh. But we're still here. I'm a decent man, just trying to take care of the people who rely on me. Before that, I was a teacher. Math. Taught kids about your age. So you went from teacher to preacher because why it fucking rhymes? <laughs> <laughs> Worse, they made him a preacher, though, from what we know. <laughs> oh. It does. It does. I can prove it to you. Okay. Ellie, keep your gun up! <laughs> and get this. That crazy man was traveling with a little girl. Ooh. Everything happens for a reason. James, lower the gun. I know you're not with a group. You won't survive for long out there. I can protect you. Run, Ellie. <laughs> she takes care of him so well. Oh. <laughs> My babies. <laughs> Zoom in. Really? <laughs> oh. What's up with them? Oh, maybe they know because he did what he did. If you've heard a rumor, yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail and bring that man to justice. You should kill him. 
You should kill both of them. <gasps> what the hell? I did not expect that. <laughs> this is the thing about David. He can change from one person to another real quick. The truth is, Hannah, you will always have a father. And you will show him respect when he's speaking. Dude, no! Why does everyone get such a small thing and then he gets a massive plate? Oh, Ellie. About the girl. We bring her back with us. We Aww. bring that girl back with us. She's just another mouth for you. That is true. God's will. Oh, be careful! <laughs> Do not spew God's words to a man who's crazy! Yeah, boy, you shut up real quick. There are men coming, okay? I'm gonna lead them away from you. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? Oh, no. Hey, motherfuckers! Oh, hell yeah, girl! Oh, no! Oh, no! Come on, Ellie! No, come on! Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> the rest of you, stay here, go door to door. You so hungry for vengeance? Deliver it. Uh, I hate that he looked straight in the camera while he's walking away. Bish, don't look at me like that! Oh, Joel. Where did he go? Oh, my God. <laughs> Get him, Joel. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, God. Ew. He still got it. Bleh. Why is he still smiling? That's so gross. Come on, Joel. You got to get up. Come on. Hungry? Why am I in a cage? Because I'm afraid of you. You're a dangerous person. You've certainly proven that. You can't survive on your own. No oh, one can. Well. She's so like. I can see how much you care about. I feel like she's in, has a concussion so from that throw. You gotta face reality. That oh, part of your life, yes. it's ending. Get no, buddy. Oh, Ellie. <sighs> Oh, sweetheart. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Is this the... Oh! Let's go. Let's go. Fuck it out. Let's go. Yes. I was hoping they put this in. Yes. Please. I don't know any girl. Oh! Can you focus right here? Or I'll pop your fucking... <laughs> Other town! What town? Silver Lake. Ah. A resort. Oh! Go ask him, he'll tell you I'm not lying. Ah. Ah. No! Get him, Joel! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> You're gonna chop me up into little pieces. I'd rather not. Please just tell me your name. Damn, he's desperate. <laughs> Judge you! You're eating people, you sick fuck! There are only a few of us that know. But I would have told you. Sooner or later. I guess sooner. Boy, does that make it any better? No. Like cordyceps. It protects its children. And it secures its future with violence if it must. I mean, yeah. It loves. That's a weird way of looking at it, but yeah. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep, and all I want is an equal. 
Nah. Think of what we could do together. As strong as we are. Imagine the life we could build. Uh, okay. Oh, the weeder. Oh. Ah. Yes. Ah. Oh. Ah. Damn it. Ah. That's the only reason why I was pretty calm. Tell them that Ellie is a little girl who broke her fucking finger. Yeah. <laughs> The bag. Ugh. Yuck. I'm not infected! I'm infected. <laughs> Look at it! It oh. looks pretty fucking real to me. <laughs> what a way to go, though. <laughs> Nice seeing you again, Troy. <laughs> Ellie? He's a little scared Ellie. now. Ellie! No one likes being humiliated, Ellie. You don't know how good I am! You don't know what I could have given you! Ew, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Come on, Ellie! Oh, girl. Oh. Well, at least she stabbed him. Good step. But also, he has a freaking axe thingy. Whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, get the freak off my girl! The fighting is the part I like the most. <laughs> oh, Ellie! Fear and love. <laughs> Come on, Ellie! Come on, Ellie! Yes, girl! Yes! Get him! Oh, Ellie. Oh, my God. Oh, my love. No! Get out! Get out! Oh, oh my God. Oh, Ellie. It's okay, baby girl. Oh, my child, my sweet babies. <sighs> yeah, that... I mean, I'm gonna just take a walk around the room, but I'm gonna keep talking. But, can we just give Bella Ramsey the Emmy? Because, like, holy shit, dude. Like, that was such good everything. Like, that was perfect. I don't even know if I'm in frame or not. Holy crap. Sorry, I just need to take a turn around the room because, well, this is the tiny, tiniest room in my house. But still, like, guys, the acting, everything, like, Everyone, like, I'm probably gonna sound really distant, so I'm just gonna shout. Don't judge me, but holy crap, dude. Yeah, I just need to walk because ugh, even if I'm doing like mini circles, but dude, let's give freaking Bella Ramsey the Emmy, all right? That's all sorted. The Golden Globe, every single award that we can give her, give it to her because she is Ellie. I'm saying it now. My opinion may not matter, but she is Ellie. Full stop. No joke. That's it. All the boys can go cry in a corner. Full stop. Bella is Ellie. End of story. <sighs> but oh my goodness gracious. I mean, oh. Especially riding. Oh, dude, I just still can't get that over out of my head. I want to say so much, but just when she's cleaving his face off it does it does not go for that long in the game but i feel like this i don't know why i feel like because it's the, i don't know if it's i don't know why but like it feels like there's so much more weight and i i don't know why but i like this version a lot more than i do in the game um 
I don't know why. This they did it so well. Um, let's just talk about Ellie, like, and especially that particular scene. I feel like when she's cleaning that motherfucker's face off, she's like, she's doing it for herself, for Tess, for Sam, for Henry, um, who else? For Riley and her own mum. Just I feel like all of it is for all the people that she's lost. Everything she's lost. Because I feel like, yeah, I think a lot of people say, like, this is the moments where she actually just fully loses all of her innocence. And I'm not talking about that innocence. I'm talking about her innocence as a child. Like, even though she has been violent, there's still been a lot of childlike qualities still to her. But even in this, in the game, at this point, she changes completely. And we will see that next episode, I'm hoping. But we will, because Bella's amazing. But... She completely changes after this, so I just like this is the moment of change and just again, Bella did so beautifully and just heartbreakingly well. Just even just throughout the whole episode, from start to finish, just so good. And the, how protective she is of Joel, how much she loves him in every action, in every violent action, she um it it shows how much she loves Joel so much. Um, both these nutheads who said, "Oh yeah, you're just cargo. Oh yeah, this is just a mission." Like, no, you guys are basically father and daughter. But there's just so many layers to it as well, and I don't know. I love it because again, there's so many themes I want to talk about. Ugh, it's just it's so good. And yeah, I'm gonna jump to it. The guy who played um, David, holy crap, dude, hands down amazing performance even though I hate your guts as the character amazing so well done at the beginning he sounded exactly like Nolan North if you guys don't know who Nolan North is you can actually go on my channel and check out an interview I did with him a couple of years ago um he is the voice of David and actually the actor who plays sorry the actor who plays um David in the game David who was in this oh the fact that they made him a preacher as well made it 10 times worse. I was just like, yeah, he's going to use some religion bullshit to like fuel his like thing. And I feel like in a way, I'm just going to say it, it's very representative of the times that we live in, in terms of men using religion for their motives. I'm going to just say that and leave it at that. Anyway, yeah, he was a manipulative bastard. And just, oh, also, yeah, just the we bleh, just that moment when it's the dinner with the whole group and, and then he slaps that poor girl. And that's another thing I was going to say, the cycle of violence with her was interesting just because of the themes that are going to come up more in season two. So I don't know, that was really, again, an Easter egg and I was like, eh. um, and yeah, just the whole cannibalism thing is just. It, like mm, they did that whole all the tension and everything was beautifully done it was exactly like it was in the game that all the tension was just beautiful very well done Ugh. again it was so well done and just again Bella carried so hard this episode Pedro was great we're gonna get to him in a second but just Bella was just so magnificent she is a Oh, she, sorry. He, not he, they, sorry, my bad. I keep, ugh, oh, I need to be better at this. But they are amazing. They are a powerhouse. They are just incredible. And, again, give them all the awards because, holy crap, just stand out. Just, oh, it's like ingrained in my brain, just her just cleaving that fake guy's face off. Oh, that moment, too, is just, oh. When, oh, just, dude, it, it was worse here, too, just because it felt like, oh, I felt so bad for her. But, like, I'm so glad she grabbed it and just ugh, cleaved his face up. Also, actually, another thing is, Troy Baker, who played, I think it was James, the guy with, like, the green beanie on the, the whole green ensemble, that was the original Joel Miller from the game. He is the voice of him. He doesn't sound like... It doesn't sound like him at all, but in the game, he's like a very gruff Texan accent. And it's just, yeah, he he's amazing in the game. It was nice to see him in this um, and just to see him on live action. It's just weird to see him in live action because I've always seen him in video games, but it was cool to see him on this and he did a great job. So thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the reaction to uh, episode 8 of The Last of Us, When We Are In Need. Um, so yeah, let's jump straight into talking about Pedro. He... 
was so good. <laughs> because this is actually something me and Mitch were talking about yesterday. My friend, if you guys don't know, he's all over my channel. You can go see him. Um, but yeah, he... We, we were talking about this, not yesterday, sorry, Saturday, and we were, <laughs> until 5am we were talking about, basically what I'm going to explain. Um, so yeah, in this, in the show obviously he's a lot more vulnerable, and he breaks down to Tommy, obviously, that he doesn't want to be the man that he was previously, and he's afraid of going into that, but also he's afraid of not being able to be enough for Ellie, which is, but then... In this episode, and I'm hoping and praying for the next episode too, is that Joel reverts to his old ways to save the person that he loves the most, which is Ellie. And we saw that in this episode. That was so good. Pedro, like, threw it out of the park as well. Give him the Emmy as well. We already said that with the other episode, but give it to him, please. He was so good and just yeah that whole scene of the t like the torture like um like interrogation scene like yeah this is Joel 20 not is it 20 years ago well we'll say 10 years ago when he was surviving <laughs> let's just say that because we actually never see anything as well in the game we never see back then this is the only scene and the next episode those scenes are the only scenes that we get sort of an idea of what he was like all those years ago and so basically yeah again going back to the conversation me and mitch had was basically he will unintentionally revert to that old version of himself because he loves and protects ellie wants to protect ellie so much and this is his way of not showing it, but his actions are showing just how much he'll go to... Or, like, how far he'll go, sorry. How far he'll go to make sure that that happens. They did it so well in this episode. <laughs> oh, it was scary. Oh, the whole kneecap popping off. Oh, bleh. Anyway, I'm gonna... Oh, I can't. I, I, okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna go to bed because it's work. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Bingo out.